In this model, all 3D people are now just 2D. A 2D person could exist and live their lives in the place marked space at the bottom of our chart. However, by moving them up on the chart at a constant rate, they are also moving through time. Let's for ease and convenience say that the top of our diagram is the future, while the bottom is the past. So the higher up our 2D person goes in this diagram, the older they get. As we don't seem to have a whole lot of control over our ability to travel through time, let's imagine for a second that our 2D person travels upwards at a constant rate, as if there is some consistent force or wind at play pushing them upwards towards the future. Sadly, we cannot slow down time for ourselves simply through willpower, no matter how much we might want to do so. However, it is misleading to say that we can't change it at all. The faster we travel in space, the slower we travel in time. This is one of the guiding principles of Einstein's relativity. This model can express this idea through the power of vectors. As our 2D person tries to move to their left or to their right, their vector of travel changes. While traveling at a fixed rate, like a sail on a ship catching a breeze, we can only go as fast as the wind takes us, so the vector coming out from their front must always remain the same. To travel the fastest through time, our 2D person must orient his vector completely in the future direction or upward.